internet, it's finally here. I finally did it. Today, I am bringing you my bookshelf tour. Now, basically what I've decided to do is, since I have a lot of stuff on my shelves, I kind of got inspiration from Haley over at Haley and Bookland, and I filmed a separate video for all the little trinkets and things on my shelves. So this video is just going to be strictly books, and then coming up soon I'm going to put up the other video about all the other things on my shelf. That way, if you're interested in that, stay tuned and be on the lookout for that, but if you're not, then, and you just care about the books, you can just watch that and no harm done. I'm gonna keep the intro short because this video is going to be very long on its own, but I love watching bookshelf tour videos and ever since I got my shelves looking all pretty, I wanted to do my own, so I finally did it and here it is. So this is an overview of what my shelves look like. Now like I said, I am going to be doing a separate video for the trinkets, so stay tuned for that, because as you can see I have a lot, which is why I decided to do it in a separate video, but that is what my shelves look like. So uh, let's get started. Before I start in on the shelves themselves, I'm going to go ahead and show the three books that I'm currently reading because obviously those aren't going to be on my shelves. So I am currently reading Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page, listening to this one on audiobook, and The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. All right, now let's get into the actual shelves. So unfortunately, my tripod doesn't go very far up, so this is kind of the best that I could do for uh, the top, and hopefully this will work. We will see. But this is what my shelf looks like as of right now, and I'm about to take all the trinkets off to make this bookshelf tour a little bit easier. All right, so first off we have We Should All Be Feminists by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adie, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, What Light by Jay Asher, Cruel Crown and Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Red Queen is the first book and I believe what's called the Red Queen series? I'm not completely sure on that. And Cruel Crown is a collection of two novellas that kind of take place before Red Queen. And then I have the Grisha Trilogy box set, and the two books that I have read from the box set are Shadow and Bone and Siege and Storm, and like I said, these are the first two books in the Grisha Trilogy by Leigh Bardugo. And then I have Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo, which is the first book in the Six of Crows duology. All Fall Down and See How They Run, which are the first two books in the Embassy Row series by Ali Carter. I'd Tell You I Love You, But Then I'd Have to Kill You. Cross My Heart and Hope to Spy. Don't Judge a Girl by Her Cover. Only the Good Spy Young, Out of Sight, Out of Time, and lastly, United We Spy, which is the Gallagher Girl series by Allie Carter. The Selection, The Elite, The One, Happily Ever After, and The Air, which is the majority of the Selection series by Kira Cass. These three are the original trilogy. Happily Ever After is a bind-up of novellas, and then The Air is... Uh, the first book in her kind of extension of the series. And now moving on to the second shelf where we will hopefully have a better angle. Alright, so here is my second shelf. So first I have The Crown, which is the last book in the selection series by Kiri Cass. Since my shelves are organized alphabetically, unfortunately that series got split up because I ran out of room. So it's just kind of down here on the second shelf by its lonesome. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, all part of the Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins, Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst, Bossy Pants by Tina Fey, If I Stay, and Where She Went, the sequel by Gail Foreman, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and then I have the Project for Awesome exclusive edition of The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle, Looking for Alaska by John Green, Paper Towns by John Green, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan, Marley and Me by John Grogan, 13 Little Blue Envelopes, and The Last Little Blue Envelope, which is the sequel by Maureen Johnson, The Name of the Star, The Madness Underneath, and The Shadow Cabinet, all part of the Shades of London series by Maureen Johnson, Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, and Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick. Alright, so here's the next shelf. The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, The Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organizing by Marie Kondo, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, The Girl Who Played with Fire, and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. All part of the Millennium Trilogy by Steek Larson, 
yes, I realize there is a fourth novel now, but since it's by a different person, I'm going to consider this the original trilogy. Every Day by David Levithan, The Giver by Lois Lowry, The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, and Empire of Storms, all part of the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. A Court of Thorns and Roses, and A Court of Mist and Fury, the first two books in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Manny Scalco, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, and lastly, The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. All right, so on to the next shelf. Ferris, Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and Winter, all part of the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. Then I have two editions of Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I have the original, then I have the Alcrate exclusive. I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, and this is the illustrated edition with the illustrations by Jim K. Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After, part of the Anna and the French Kiss Companion trilogy by Stephanie Perkins. My True Love Gave to Me, which is an anthology that has stories by Holly Black, Ali Carter, Matt De La Pena, Gail Foreman, Jenny Hahn, David Levithan, Kelly Link, Myra McIntyre, Stephanie Perkins, Rainbow Rowell, Lainey Taylor, and Kirsten White, and this was edited together by Stephanie Perkins. Yes, Please by Amy Poehler, Bassett in the Night by Sarah Porter. And then I have the box set of the newer editions of the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan, and the spines are just beautiful. So we have The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. All right, almost to the last shelf on the big case, but not quite. Four, Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant, all part of the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. Holes by Lewis Satchar. A Darker Shade of Magic. And The Gathering of Shadows. And these are the UK editions of the first two books in the Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. Then I also have the US editions of A Darker Shade of Magic and A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. The Lovely Bones by Alice Sebold. More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. Once Upon a Time, Shadow of the Queen, which is a graphic novel by Daniel T. Thompson. And the very last book on my red shelf is The Christmas Doll by Elvira Woodruff. I'm going to skip ahead to the top of my skinny shelf because the last shelf on the big bookcase is TBR books, and I want to keep them all together, so we're going to jump up for a second. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot up to the top so that way I can do all my TBR shelves together. So this first shelf on my skinny bookcase is my first of my two Harry Potter shelves, and this has all of my books that aren't part of the my original copies of the seven book series. So going from left to right, we have the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, obviously by J.K. Rowling, and I love these books. They are one of my prized possessions. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts one and two by Jack Thorne. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. The Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling. And then I have the beautiful UK edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone that I got in London whenever I went there in 2015. I have this thing where whenever I visit a foreign country, I like to try and get a foreign edition of one of the Harry Potter books, just depending on which cover I like the best. But since I was in London, I had to get one that said The Philosopher's Stone. Low-key considering getting all of the books in this edition, but that's a future Sarah problem. I also have the German edition of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Now into my second Harry Potter shelf, which has all of the books that I read as a kid, so that's why they're really beat up looking. So we have Harry, po ah! Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and lastly, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, all part of the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. All right, so this shelf is the first of my classic shelves. I have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, and this is the Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition. The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, and this is the Illustrated Junior Library Edition. I've had this since I was a little girl. I don't even know where I got it from. I have another edition of The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. I do not know what edition this is. This is another one I've had since I was a little girl. No idea where I got it from, but it's really pretty. 
If you can't tell, The Wizard of Oz is my favorite classic. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, and Riso Rodil did the cover art for this, and this is the Rock Paper Books edition that came in the November Owl Crate of last year. A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, and this is the Barnes & Noble Classics Edition. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, and this is the Woodsworth Classics Edition. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne, and this is another Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The No Fear Shakespeare Edition of Hamlet by William Shakespeare. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, and this is the Puffin Classics Edition. And The Little House Treasury by Laura Ingalls Wilder, which has three different books from the Little House on the Prairie series. It has Little House in the Big Woods, Little House on the Prairie, and On the Banks of Plum Creek. And here's my second classic shelf that has my Word Cloud Classics on it. Since a lot of my Word Cloud Classics I'm either currently reading or have not read yet, the shelf isn't super full yet, so it's mostly trinkets, but I'll show you what Word Cloud Classics I do have on the shelf. First I have The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, and Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Alright, so this is one of my three TBR shelves. In front here I have my TBR for Feminist Lit February. So we have Rune and Rising by Lee Bardugo and this is the last book in the Grisha trilogy. I am Malala, the girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban by Malala. This is her memoir. Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake and Our Own Private Universe by Robin Talley. At the top here, Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me, which is the Shatter Me trilogy by Tahara Mafi. The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Audier, and this is the second book in the Wrath and the Dawn duology. Vengeance Road by Aaron Bowman. You Gonda Be Kidding Me by Chelsea Handler. Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. Another Day by David Levithan. Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. And I just realized you can see the junk over here. Just ignore that. Stars Above by Marissa Meyer, and this is the novella collection for the Lunar Chronicle series. The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Forgive Me, Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan, and this is the first book in the Heroes of Olympus series. The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. And History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. Alright, so this TBR shelf is a little more out of control. We have Oz the Complete Collection Volume 1, as well as Oz the Complete Collection Volume 2 by L. Frank Baum, the Word Cloud Classics Edition of Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, and the Word Cloud Classics edition of Hans Christian Andersen Tales. Uh, the Beatles Yellow Submarine by Max Wilk. Room by Emma Donahue. A Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. Quidditch Through the Ages by J.K. Rowling. And Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. I don't know why I haven't just skimmed through these so I can put them on my Harry Potter shelf. I need to do that. Twenties Girl by Sophie Kinsella. Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, An Arc of Last Seen Leaving by Caleb Rorick, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. There we go. Guys, that took four tries. Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour, A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron, The Shadow Queen by C.J. Redwine, and then at the top there I have the complete Sherlock Holmes uh, novels and stories collection by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and it comes in two different volumes. Then I have the box set of the Giver Quartet, the first book of which I've already shown you since it was on my red shelf, but the other three books are Gathering Blue, Messenger, and Sun by Lois Lowry. And then I have this box set of The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings trilogy by J.R.R. Tolkien that I've had for a really long time. So we have The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. I really need to read these. And then I have Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, and Dreams of Gods and Monsters, all part of the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. And last but not least, I have the entirety of the Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis. I believe I read all of them except for the last two, which is why this is still on my TBR shelf. All right, guys, this is my very, very last shelf. So yay, if you've stuck around this long, props to you and seriously, thank you. Daisy, why? I'm not sitting in the floor for y'all's enjoyment. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go left to right because this is just kind of a big jumble of a mess. Gone Girl by Jillian Gillian Flynn. Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, which is the second book in the Six of Crows duology. The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, aka J.K. Rowling. The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. The Help by Catherine Stockett. The Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle. This is The Love You Make by, I forgot. Peter Brown and Stephen Gaines. 
A Voice Undefeated by Colin Ray. And then up on top, right here, we have Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. The Taming of the Shrew by William Shakespeare. And Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. And all three of these are the Folger Shakespeare Library editions. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And this is the Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition. Blue Tide by Jenna Lynn Duncan. Water for Elephants by Sarah Groon. These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennett by Bernie Sue and Kate Rorick. Armada by Ernest Cline. This is Where I Leave You by Jonathan Tropper. The Princess Bride by William Goldman. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. And this is the UK edition. Mary Poppins by P.L. Travers. My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. Wicked by Gregory Maguire. Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. The Beatles Lyrics edited by Hunter Davies. The Complete Tales of Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne. And lastly, Disney Beloved Tales and There Was No Author Inside. So that's it for my bookshelf tour. That took a long time to film and I was pretty exhausted afterwards, but I think I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. So thank you so much for watching this really, really long video. Let me know down in the comments some of the books on my TBR shelves that I should prioritize because as you noticed, I have a lot of books on my TBR shelves. And that will be it for this video and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye!